Hi everyone, it's Carly, aka Eyeline Her. Um, this is my first beauty tutorial video in quite a long time, so I'm probably going to look at the wrong part of the camera and just generally make a gigantic mess of things, so thank you for bearing with me. I really wanted to do a new video today on um, a new method I've been using to do my eyebrows, uh, because on my blog I talk a lot about uh, the method where I use eyeshadow powder and then a very finely sharpened eyeliner pencil. And the news is, I'm not doing that anymore because I found something that I like even more and it is this product right here which is called uh, it's by Dolly Wink and it is the liquid eyeliner in dark brown and I am so wedded to this product now that all of my old tutorials as good as they still are don't get me wrong um, they've kind of gone out the window basically and that I use this every day so I thought I would show you exactly how I do it so to show you how I use this new pen every morning, basically, um, I've taken my brows back to basics and just started with a very light touch of brown eyeshadow powder over some face powder. So it's a very clean, very dry, very prepared surface. And as you know from all my previous tutorials, which you've been watching, right? I would just take one of these little uh, brushes and then I just very gently put on some brown eyeshadow. And so the difference here is that I take this felt tip liner, which as you can see, has a really, really sharp nib. And this is exactly what you want for gently feathering on little kind of fake hairs, basically. So like I say, I start with the brown eyeshadow on top and then very gently start feathering in the lines. like that. And this is super hard because I normally do it in a mirror, right? And I'm doing this into a phone. Uh, so bear with me. I'd normally start from the inside and work my way outward like that. And of course, the thing is about this is that it is uh, semi-permanent, which is great because it means that it's not going to get rubbed off during the night and you don't have to worry about water splashing your face and your eyebrows coming off. The downside of that, of course, is that you have to be a little bit more uh, careful and considered in your technique. Um, it's not a big deal. If you mess up and put a, a little line where you it shouldn't be, you can just take a little Q-tip and just wet it and just wipe it away. It's just going to be slightly more work because it is fairly semi-permanent. But enough talk, I'll just continue so you can see. And so, like all things, start small and build up, right? Because you can always add more, but taking away is really hard. One thing I like to do, just to give a little bit more definition to the eyebrow these days, is to really kind of define that top bit there. Can you see what I'm doing there? I'm happy to leave the bottom a little bit less structured, but I like having kind of a line on the top. There you go. And if you can see, there's little hairs that are not kind of towing the party line, but that's fine because eyebrows, by their very nature, have hairs in them and they're slightly messy. So especially if you want to go for that really natural 3D look, this is what you want. So I'm going to move and do the other one now. By the way, I always find doing my left eye much harder. I don't know why, I just do. You're gonna see it, it's not gonna look as good. I think this is also the look of concentration I have when I play the violin, by the way. <laughs> so I just keep going back in for more. And keep adding. I really like to do cross hatching techniques with this stuff because obviously on real eyebrows the hairs all don't flow in a perfect direction unless someone's worked really hard to make that happen. So just kind of having little cross hatched hairs sticking up can make it look even more natural. Don't go too wild obviously but and pay attention as well to the, the bits here as you come in. 
It's all those little, little touches that are going to make it look even more realistic. So there you go, that's the very quick version. And always take a step back and assess, you're like, are they, are they even? Am I happy with those? Eyebrows, as a wiser person than me once said, should be sisters and not twins. So don't worry about having absolute parity on either side, but you don't want one eyebrow kind of shooting up into the heavens and the other one going downwards. So just be careful of that. And there you go, that is my, not even five minutes, under five minutes technique of how to use this new, new to me, I should say, semi-permanent liner by Dolly Wink and there's a variety of places that you can get it from and I've listed those in the caption and in the blog. Um, you might also like for extra safety and extra um, staying power to seal in your brows with like a lacquer product. I really like the Bald Girls Do Lunch one. I think that one's fabulous. The other ones are available um, and to use that I would probably do a very light dusting of face powder, not too much, because I actually have noticed that face powder, a lot of face powder, particularly uh, translucent powder, uh, interferes with the staying power of the liner, so just be careful there. And if you want, you can take your lacquer, and you can just put it on like that. It's clear, so you don't even have to watch where you're going, it's great. And there you go, that's my quick and easy guide to the Dolly Wink eyeliner pen and I really like it like I say this has replaced my normal powder and pencil technique which I was very wedded to and I'm surprised that it has and I've been doing this for many months now and I think it's my absolutely preferred technique so I would love to know what you think so leave me a comment on the blog. Thank you, bye bye.